Do a little ducky jump? This is in my face. It looks like it's just zoomed in, you know? But you gotta remember, this is like in my eyeballs. The vine went through the ceiling. <laughs> or you just climbed in my ceiling. Uh, let's move. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> this looks crazy. Mario Brothers is spinning around my room and in my face. <laughs> this is great. Hey everyone, Sturby from Baloo, told you games, and today I'm sitting in my room playing Super Mario Brothers, which is also in my room. So if you're wondering how I'm doing this, I'm using the Quest 3 pass-through mode, which makes it kind of like mixed reality, sorta, and I'm using 3D Sen VR, which is a program that makes old NES games 3D. So <laughs> here's my dogs, chill it out. Over on the left, we got Lili, and over there on the right, we got Goomba. And uh, this just looks crazy. It's probably harder for you to imagine, but I'm basically seeing Mario Brothers floating in the middle of my room right now. And uh, <laughs> it just looks great. You can actually twist the game and move it around too if we'd like to. You can also just get up and walk around the level when it's stationary as well if you want a different view. So we're gonna be doing all kinds of crazy views. I'll get up a bit and look around. Uh, <laughs> I kinda just wanna reach out and kick it. It just looks so cool. And it's uh, ignoring my dog licking his leg back there. And top of the flagpole. I have uh, <laughs> no way to control what my dogs do. I love looking close here. I'm just leaning forward. Okay, now he's scratching his ear. Don't lick yourself, Goomba, please. All right, level one, two. We're just gonna go through the whole game, maybe take some warps. Now this is all done wirelessly too, so uh, it's running wirelessly, but so far pretty smooth, not seeing much lag or dropouts. Let's snag the old fire flower. What's really cool is when you're playing this with your VR headset, when you bust the bricks and stuff, they'll actually fly at you. This is me just leaning over, looking at it as it's stationary. It looks so crazy. Um, yeah, if you have a Quest 3 or thinking about getting one and you want to play Mario games in your room in mixed reality like this, I highly recommend it. It's just blowing my mind. I know this probably looks super cool, but I assure you it's a hundred times cooler when you have the headset on. All right, let's run through here. <laughs> we just fell on my dog, technically. Sorry about that, Lily. All right, world one, two, our first death. Only slightly embarrassing, we should be fine. All right, so let's approach this a little differently. Get our mushroom, and our goal this time is to not fall off the level and die. Sometimes these angles and views can be a little crazy, but I think we got this. We've beaten this game a few hundred times, <laughs> so we should be fine. All right. You know what we need? We need to make up for our lost life. So why don't we head up and snag the one up coming up up here. But before we do, let's stand up here and uh, check out this from a different angle. There's our one up mushroom dropping down on her head. Barely dodged the Goombas in time. Whoa! The piranha is ready to munch my boots. <laughs> Please don't munch my boots, piranha plant. That looks so crazy. I'm just leaning forward looking at Mario and he's gigantic in my face right now. Okay, into the pipe. We went through the piranha plant, but we didn't get injured. Great. Uh, there's something amazing about 3D Sen VR already. It's just really cool to see these games in 3D. But it's a whole new element when you can play the game in your room and see what's going on around you as you play. It's unbelievable experience. This is so cool. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. And also, if you'd like to see me do some more games like this, there's a ton of compatible games. There we go, we got Goomba running in and out of the door as I'm trying to play, I can't even talk. <laughs> All right, I think we gotta go for the warp and get through the game. Ooh, geez, who almost died. Oh, that's so cool. I'm like going into my ceiling. I'm noticing now I need to repaint my ceiling. <laughs> so thank you, video game, for reminding me I need to paint my ceiling. Let's head into world four, down this pipe. Go ahead and go in, Mario. All right, now we've made it to world four one. It's just as fun to stand up and play this as it is to sit down. Oh man, okay, Lakitu. <laughs> Lakitu flying through my room is quite intimidating. And uh, <laughs> this is so cool. All right, we need to get up here and take out this Lakitu. Boom, how you like that? Fell down through the ground, perfect. I feel like I'm jumping over gaps so that I don't fall down to my floor. Hey, look, Della's here. We're watching my in-laws dog, Della, back there, the big old girl. She's a sweet doggy. <laughs> 
She's coming over to check out Mario, I think. Uh, let's move. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> this looks crazy. Mario Brothers is spinning around my room and in my face. <laughs> this is great. All right. Awesome. This looks like a great point of view, although I actually think we're looking at the back side. So my controls are reversed. We got Goomba back there running out of the room. Yeah, my controls are reversed. Okay, we need to turn back around. Apparently, I got confused while the game was flipping and twisting around. There we go. Now we're heading the right way. Now we're zoomed out really far, and this is cool. I just have this tiny little Mario game floating around and I can stand up and get real close, look at it from above. And there's Della again. <laughs> See ya, Della. Oh man, it's confusing to watch a dog run around the level while you're playing it, I'll tell you that. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Once again, if you want to see some more games like this, pretty much it's all NES, the original Nintendo games. Uh, like there's Mario 3. There's some other classics like The Legend of Zelda. Just let me know if you'd like to see some more of this kind of stuff. I'll work on getting the quality up a little too. I've never captured VR like this before. So, you know, we'll get a little sharper video next time. And I think this might be 30 frames per second. Well, you know, we, we will up it to 60 frames per second because I'm slowly figuring out the settings. It took me a long time to get this to run smoothly since it's streaming Wi-Fi from my computer. The game was really choppy for a bit. I finally got it running pretty smooth, so. All right, we need the one up. We got to head up here. <laughs> this is so cool. Get in there. Do a little ducky jump. This is in my face. It looks like it's just zoomed in, you know? But you remember, this is like in my eyeballs. The vine went through the ceiling. <laughs> Mario just climbed in my ceiling. This is awesome. All right. But now we're down here. Too bad I can't go up to my attic. Actually, that'd be my second floor. See what's going on upstairs when I go up the vine. Now that would be cool. Now if they can make a uh, mixed reality Mario where you can like platform on your bookshelves and stuff, that would be the next thing. This is a step in that direction. All right, Mario into the pipe. All right. Hey look, oh Yoshi's out there, my other dog, cool. Maybe he'll come in and say hi too. Watch out for old Buzzy Beats. Buzzy Beats is kind of transparent because the trick to getting this to work is to take out a color. And right now it's taking out all the black. And because of this, it's removing a lot of the outlines and stuff. And pretty much Buzzy Beetles look like Buzzy Beetle ghosts now. So uh, yeah, they're see-through now, no big deal. All right, don't want to get Buzzy Beetled. Let's grab this coin. I think it's the next pipe we can go in, right? Get in the pipe, there we go. Back down to old bonus town, as I like to call it, starting now. <laughs> bonus town, sure. Get lots of coins. We could use some extra lives. My goal is to beat this game like this. That's my goal. It's gonna be great. There's old Goomba out there, chilling. I got my arcade game in the back there. It's a modded arcade one up with thousands of games. It's really cool. Some guitars hanging on the walls. Actually, those are two bases, but over to the right, we have a guitar. You got, oh, Mario's up by my 100,000 subscriber plaque from YouTube. My silver play button, that's pretty cool. When it's really far like this, it looks really tiny, uh, but it actually looks really cool too. Cause it feels more like it's floating. If it could add a shadow to your ground, that would be really cool just to give it more depth. All right, we gotta do this. All right. Now, as long as my internet doesn't lag me or my Wi-Fi, we should be able to get through this section. Uh, so we got some tricky jumps coming up here. So let's get nice and close and really concentrate. Top of the flagpole, we did it, nice. All right, we got through all the tricky jumps of 8-1. 8-1, one of the hardest levels in the game. And let's uh, mix up the camera angle here again a bit. Back it up a little bit. <laughs> it's so weird seeing my dogs on the, on the screen in my room while I'm playing Mario. This is such a cool way to play old games. Hopefully they add this ability to even more games. That'd be so cool. Games where you can like mask out the background and just have floating games in your room. It's just really cool. Watch out for all the flying Koopa Troopas, my friend. Okay. Now we gotta be careful. 
We're small Mario now, which isn't great. I don't know why I'm checking these boxes. There's nothing in them. <laughs> but I just really want to power up. So the bullet bills are kind of see-through as well, but you can kind of see them. And, uh, you know, that's something. We gotta be careful to dodge them. Oh, shelled. We died again. Dang it. Okay, I'm standing up now. Let's get serious. Standing up might help a little. Let's get a cool point of view here. Zooming out a bit. Doop, doop, doop. Please don't crush me. We gotta get up close and take out this dang Lakitu. Boop, there you go. Lakitu defeated. Feeling pretty good now. The springs look crazy in this 3D Sen thing. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So if you don't understand 3D Sen VR, it's basically, uh, 3D Sen is NES backwards. So it's 3D NES, basically. That's what's making this look so cool, making all the enemies 3D, the ground 3D. A lot of times when you see 3D 1-1, it's like one square wide. The way they did it on here, I think, looks a lot better. We're kind of between square one and two. This is a crazy angle, as you can see the bullet bills flying out her face. And I lost my power up, which is fantastic. This jump's kind of tricky. It feels even weirder right now. Okay. Now we should go in this pipe, I think. Because, uh, I don't know. We should go in here. I can't remember which bonus area this is. Ah, it's this one. We gotta drop in and get the coins. All right. <laughs> this looks so crazy. The HUD's like up in my ceiling, which is fine. We don't need the HUD. I need to get up here. It's a weird angle, so I'm kind of having trouble getting up to this block. <laughs> All right, jump up here. Jump up. Oh, so when I jump, I go through the ceiling. Oh, no. <laughs> we can get in there. That's tricky. So we jump up into the ceiling. I can't see where I'm at. Once again, I really need to repaint my ceiling. Oh, geez. And we fell down again. We can get this. All right, up to the top. Through the ceiling. And over, there we go. Third time's a charm. Was that the third time? I don't know. Let's just say that was the third time either way. I'm kind of looking for a power up that doesn't exist right now because uh, these levels are kind of tricky, especially with a little bit of input lag and uh, weird camera angles and the chances that we'll have some hiccups streaming. I'm just a little nervous being small Mario, okay? But it's fine. We can do this. Only two levels left to go, Mario. Woohoo! I keep getting kind of distracted by, like, the cool games going on in the arcade in the background, too. I just want to see what's going on over there. All right, 8-3. A pretty tricky level, but I think we can do this. The trickiest part is we need to get past the Hammer Bros and preferably get the Fire Flower. If we get the Fire Flower, the rest of the game will be a lot easier. 3D Hammer Bros freak me out. We're also sitting on my dog Lee's head right now a little bit. Well, the ground is. Sorry about that, Lily. <laughs> this is crazy. Giant dog in the kind of in the mid slash foreground a little bit. All right, watch out for the semi invisible bullet bills. They are here to ruin me life. See through bullet bills are kind of cool though. They're like boo bills. Boo bills? Bill boos. Do you like boo bills or boo bills better? What would you call ghostly bills? All right. Once in a while, you'll hear the music kind of skip all weird, and that's when we're having just a little bit of lag or something in the game streaming. Kind of helps if you don't just go running really fast the whole time when that happens. Kind of makes it a little easier. Right now, we're being extra careful because we don't want to lose this fire flower. All right, let's move the screen kind of over here above Lee's head so he can kind of hang out while we finish this level. Oh, geez, we're running low on time. One thing bad about not having the HUD in my eyesight is I don't know how much time's left. All right, 8-3 in the books. We got one level left. Let's give Lee a little pet while we're playing the game. <laughs> this is so cool. Make sure we say hi to Goomba. Hey, Goomba. Hi, buddy. I was originally gonna try to use an NES controller for this, but I was having trouble getting it to work, so I had to switch over to my PS5 controller. All right, this looks like a kind of fun camera angle here. Let's have the game floating in the sky. It actually kind of looks like the tiles, at least the top ones, are coming out from outside my door. If it was nighttime, that would look so cool, like just seeing the game kind of come out of the door. That could be a cool idea for next time if we do this again. I should set this to where like, maybe it's on the ground or maybe, I don't know, just do some funny things. Try to really get the screen set in a funny spot like that. 
All right, we need to go into this pipe here. Watch out for this peony plant. Hop on in. Getting closer. We do not want to get cheap cheap. The cheap cheeps are crazy. Yep, they're just jumping all around, all fishy-like. And our first water section, I think, unless I'm going crazy, which is possible. So the water section is really cool, because as the water moves at the top, you can see through to my room. I love how the water moves. That is so cool. I have no idea how this program works, and no idea how it works in VR either, or how pass-through works with it. But what I do know is that this, my friends, is one of the coolest ways to ever play Mario Brothers 1. All right, back into the castle. Let's move it over here. We're at the end of the game. Let's put it real far away at a weird angle just for fun. And, oh, take out the hammer, bro. So we can take a hit, so we could damage boost. Oh, got a little lag at the worst spot. Gave got a little choppy. Um, oh, geez, just jump on the axe. Woof. And we got him. We took out Bowser and we saved the day. Sweet. Let's bring the screen a little closer here. Thank you, Mario. Your quest is over. We present you with a new quest. That was awesome. All right. Uh, if you did enjoy this video of Mario Brothers in my room, let me know once again if you want to see some more games like this. This was really, really cool. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to help me reach my goal of 600,000 subscribers by 2024. If you hit the notification bell, you'll know when I release new videos. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, join the BGD Discord, check out my merch store down below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.